Hey everybody, welcome to the Stickman Podcast. I'm Reggie Kimball, aka Stickman Number One. I'm here with Stickman Simp. Hey, hey y'all. What's up, Simp? Hey, you know how we do it here. If you like a good cigar, you like some good whiskey, you like to have good conversations while you're doing it, you came to the right place. That's what we do. We're gonna educate you a little bit today. You know we love us some scotch, we love some bourbon, but we're doing some Irish whiskey today. We all know about our Jameson. But I had to bring my man, Christian Nahas. Hey, y'all. Uh, Christian and I go way back. Good friends. Got him introduced to Simp today. Great, man. And uh, we family now. Yep. Here we We're go. family now. So, Christian, thanks for coming on the Stickman Podcast. Thanks for having me, man. Yeah, and I, I can't wait thanks. to try uh, this Glad whiskey. To have um, you. Simp, have you had some of these before? I have not had any of these. Uh-huh. I have not had the Gandalf looking one. Uh-huh. <laughs> it looks like Gandalf. I, I dare you to, to pronounce the word. What is that? How do you say it? Glendalough. Oh, Glendalough. He, oh, he, he knows I'm a man uh, <laughs> of being able to pronounce. Because I was going to call it Gandalf for a second. But, <laughs> okay, gl- gl- Glendalough works. Okay, so Bushmills, yep. single malt, 10 year. All right. Yeah. And then over here, we got a little red breast. Yeah. Tell us what's going on with these. All right, so here's what we're going to do. Like like you said, we're going to go up a little. A lot, mm-hmm. Most people know Jameson. Most popular, yeah. mm-hmm. the most popular whiskey in the world. Not yeah. just the most popular mm-hmm. Irish, mm-hmm. right? And Jameson's a really accessible price point. You're mm-hmm. at you know, 20, 25 bucks for a bottle right. of Jameson. But oh, and we can smoke cigars with these, right? Absolutely. Okay. Uh, you better be able to. Okay. That's the Stickman right. podcast, right? You got to smoke right. cigars. That's right. Okay. I just want to make yeah. sure. What are you, but before we get into that, what are you, what are you puffing on today? Sir? I'm puffing on a Gispet Intenso. By A.J. Fernandez, uh-huh. Nicaraguan and Dominican filler, uh-huh. Connecticut wrap, but it's it's dark, okay. really nice U.S. Connecticut wrap, but it's a it's, it's a holding dark. a nice ash. Oh too. my goodness, as you can see, I can see that. <laughs> All right. I am puffing on a Drew Estates de la Isla de Sol. It's a little sweeter than I usually uh-huh. like them, but I just had dinner a little while ago, so it's a great after dinner oh, yeah. cigar. Looks and, good uh, too. I can't wait to see what it tastes Let's like with this whiskey. Yeah, so here go. we go. All right, so. Look, we know Jameson, right? We know that price point. We know it's an accessible whiskey. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's an easy to drink whiskey. Mm-hmm. Um, but sometimes you want something nicer. You mm-hmm. know, sometimes you, it's a nice occasion. It's a Saturday evening, whatever. Maybe it's not your Tuesday drink. And so what, what I brought here was a selection of something nicer. Okay. Right? So the first is this Glendalaw. The Glendalaw is, um, is new to the States, uh, actually. Maybe in the last year or so they started bringing it over. And this is their highest end bottle that they bring to the States. Mm-hmm. Nice. The interesting thing about this one is it's the only Irish whiskey mm-hmm. I've ever found that is uh, bottled in Irish oak casks. Wow. And the way the bottles are numbered, uh, you can, you can uh, on, the, on the front of the bottle, you can see <clears throat> the bottle number and the cask number. Mm-hmm. And you can go on the website and actually watch them cut down the Irish oak tree. Uh, and watch them cooper uh, the, bo- uh, the the barrel, Amazing. right? Make the barrel, and then and then you. So can that's what they call it. They call it coopering the yeah, barrel. Yeah, coopering. See, the I barrel. didn't even know that. Yeah. Yeah. Let me give you a little history too. My okay. last name Nahas, Lebanese for cooper, barrel maker. So, oh, like, this is like not that. that that's all that important. <laughs> but no, what that tells me is that this was destiny. Destiny. Right. <laughs> there you go. So, there you go. Um, yeah. So this this should be. Uh, I've actually never tried. It's the first time I've ever been able to get this at our liquor store. So we're going to give that a go. Oh, so, we're, right? so we all get the first time. We all get the oh, first yeah. time. Oh, yeah. And, uh, and for those out there that are into sustainability, for every one tree they cut down, they plant seven. So just, all right. Uh, yeah. all right. So that's about a, let's call it a $57 price point. Okay. okay? So not too bad, but uh, the one in the middle. Well, well let's, let's pour first. You want to pour first? Let's pour oh, first. We'll go one at a time. Let's Love see how we pour. go. Yep. Sean, you ready? Oh, yeah. All right. Let's see what we got. Oh. Reg. Oh, thank you, sir. Mm-hmm. All right, let's see how we do. Let's see what the nose says here. Wow. Now, that's a very rich smell. I mean, the nose is, oh my gosh. You got to tell us something. Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, Definitely the, get the, the flavors, the, the scents are more distinct yeah. than what I recall with like some of the scotches. And the so the it interesting really, thing about yeah. this that I'm sensing, and, and there are some some Irish whiskeys that are that are uh, bottled in ex bourbon barrels and that sort of thing, but this one bottled in a virgin oak, uh, uh, or I'm sorry, uh, crated in a virgin oak uh, barrel. Mm. You're getting that really light. Mm. That that is nice. Wow, this is good. That is yeah, nice. Oh, and, and that by the way, cheers, cheers, guys. cheers, cheers. We're cheers. gonna do the cheers yeah. here. Yeah, cheers. That, that is nice. Oh my gosh, mm. it's got Glendola. woodiness too mm-hmm. to it. And it looks really good. It looks really good. I love the color, yes. Mm-hmm. The finishes, it just evaporates. Mm-hmm. Yeah. The finish just disappears. Yeah. It does. It's, it's almost really like there is no finish. Yeah. I just put it on my tongue and then you get it a little, little bit. Yeah. It went. A little yeah. bit in the back of the throat. Yeah. A little bit. It stays. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. This is, this is nice. Yeah. 
hold on, I'm gonna go put on a tuxedo <laughs> and and drink the rest of this. We this are is sipping Glendola pot. Glendola, steel. you said that really good. That I'm trying. Good. You said yeah, that yeah. really good. Glendola, yeah. It just rolls off your tongue. Yeah. <laughs> it's because the whiskey tastes good. Man. Mm-hmm. That has a bit of a scotch. It does. Uh, mm-hmm. After, like the 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 after. The after, um, yeah. It's not even an aftertaste. Just what lingers in your throat has a little now, bit. Now, now, what what is that that I'm tasting? I'm I'm I, I'm. You you said it's it's the vanilla. Mm-hmm. I am smelling vanilla, uh-huh. but I'm tasting a bit of spice almost. Okay, mm-hmm. and then I get that spice on the again on the back of my throat. Like it's mm-hmm. almost there's nothing in the front. Right, like it hits my tongue and mm-hmm. then evaporates it, in the back of my right. throat. Right, and that's what I was like, saying. It just, it just yeah. went away. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's I'm, very I'm, interesting. Mm-hmm. It's super light, but for such a light whiskey, it's got a lot of flavor. But it, it's lingering. That's it. It does have a lot of flavor. It does have a lot of flavor. That's really good. Mm. That is really good. Mm. Oh my goodness! You can't go wrong with this. No, I, I think love that's this. Good. And I like that. That uh, again, the virgin oak barrel is definitely coming. I would suggest this. you guys get some of this. Yeah. Have it. Have it for special that, occasions. About yeah. fifty-seven dollars. That mm-hmm. one's about fifty-seven. So okay. That's a, that's a is good. It, is it pretty available in a lot of stores? You is it hard what? to find? It's, not, it's, it's going to be a little bit harder to find. So, okay. Um, that's why I say thing, you should yeah, get it. That's, right. that's why I say you should get <laughs> it. The uh, the other thing I've done with this actually is I've started to give it as gifts. Although it's my first time mm-hmm. uh, trying this, some friends of mine that I know love Irish whiskey. This mm-hmm. is one I've picked up and started to give as gifts because it is a little bit harder to find. Okay. All right. uh, but yeah, that's good. I'm glad we picked man, it up. You, yeah, man. Yeah. Thank you. This is a good one. Podcast is a good good incentive. Oh my me, goodness! Give myself one, so I'm glad we're giving that a go. Oh man! So we're gonna take a little quick sip, and we're gonna finish our glasses, and then we're gonna move on to this uh, Bushnell single malt. So check us out, Stickman Podcast. Be right back. All right. So look, we just had that was amazing. The that was, great. was really Delicious. good. I loved it. Uh, it's a it's a very refreshing almost mm-hmm. scotch. Mm-hmm. Uh, very easy on the palate. Now we're gonna move to the Bushmills. Bushmills is actually a little bit more accessible than the Glendale. You're gonna be able to find that in almost any liquor store. Okay. All right. And it's about a $45, $47 price point. Mm-hmm. Okay. So, so, again, very accessible. And we'll drink more like a scotch. Mm. Right? So, similar really to a scotch. Wait. Yeah, okay. similar to like a Glenlivet, mm-hmm. Nadura. Uh, okay. You're going to get this is this is aged in, in sherry casks and mm-hmm. bourbon casks. And then and then those two are, are, are mixed. So I, I, I have a, an admission to make. Yeah. I've seen this yeah. in my local liquor store. And I walked right past it because yeah. I didn't know what the hell it was. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I mean, I knew Bish Mills, but I couldn't. I didn't know if I should take a chance on it. Well, that. some of the hard part with 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 uh, with scotches and whiskeys mm-hmm. is you see Bushmills, you go, oh, I got a twenty dollar Bushmills, and then I got a thirty dollar Bushmills, and mm-hmm. then I got a forty dollar, and then you can go all the way up to having a couple hundred dollar Bushmills. And you know, mm-hmm. I don't know which one to grab. Right, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. right. I knew you guys like scotch, mm-hmm. so it's like let, I'm going to grab one that I think is going to that's going to be okay. reminiscent of a scotch okay. for you, yeah. uh, and and should be a good. You know, dollar for dollar, a forty-seven dollar scotch is kind of okay. Mm-hmm. I mean, you're looking at maybe a Macallan Twelve if you can get it on sale someplace, mm-hmm. or you That's buy right. it by the case, mm-hmm. right? This is going to be slightly more complex than a forty-seven dollar scotch is. Okay. Okay. I want to see if you how you guys feel about that. All right, let's, let's pour it up. Let's go. Let's do it. All right. Bushmills ten yes, year sir. single malt. Okay. Thank you, sir. Oh. The f- Mm. Nose. Mm. So that should be familiar, right? Yeah, you're you're smelling yeah. that sherry that, in there. Yep. And then you're going to get that smoothness from, like you get the bourbon, the darkness is coming from the bourbon and the smoothness, the smoothness is coming from, from the, the sherry. That is scotch mm. the, yeah. all the way. That, but it's oh a very goodness. smooth scotch. It, it's very, yeah. smooth. very smooth. It's very scotch. smooth. No yeah. bite to that at all. And, and look, I, 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 I've kind of pivoted. I love my scotch, but mm-hmm. I pivoted to Irish because you can get this kind of complexity. It's probably twenty dollars cheaper than a similar so, scotch might be. So you educate me on some serious shit here right mm-hmm. now, because I am a baller on a budget. So I do look <laughs> I for know that feeling. <laughs> I, I do look for a good deal. I'm yeah. with you on yeah. that. And so, but that's good. Sim, we might have to start quality. hitting the Irish yeah. whiskey yeah. section for a little real. more often. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, this is good, and it's uh, and it's a single malt the same way you would think of a single malt scotch, mm-hmm. right? So we did some blends when we did the, mm-hmm. the entry level scotches mm-hmm. on that on that podcast. Mm-hmm. These are not blends. These are all single pot still or single malt scotches, and that's what you're getting. Or single malt Irish, sorry, that's what you're getting there. Okay. This is really good. This is awesome. How's it hold up to that cigar, Sean? I mean, that's a heavy cigar you got. How's it how's it holding up to that? It's like you got a you got a strong stick, mm-hmm. but then you have a nice 
smooth mm. drink behind it. It, it kind of balances it out yeah. uh, uh, for me. It's it's re- it's really good. Yeah. It's really good. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I'm glad you liked. It. I was hoping you guys would like yeah, it. Yeah, this is good. I'm, with this, they, it's, this got a little sweetness to yeah, it. Yeah, so you get more of the sherry. You get more of the sherry. It's yeah. like bringing out some of this. Uh-huh. It's, it's, it mm-hmm. actually pair very well mm-hmm. together. So mm-hmm. yeah. I'm not a big sweet cigar guy but mm. if i were to recommend this then this, I, I would hey, say you compare this one. together well, you're a yeah. sweet guy Rich. oh oh man <laughs> <laughs> you get me all choked up man go ahead man stop it <laughs> cheers everyone cheers mm. Mm. all right it's time for it's time to do some more red breast all right here we go look Again, everybody knows Jameson, right? Yep. Mm-hmm. That's but right. if you ask an Irish whiskey guy or girl their favorite Irish whiskey, I damn near guarantee you one of the top three is Redbreast. Amazing. It's unreal. So I was at a, I was at a, a pub, uh, on on the on right off the campus of Trinity College in Dublin. Mm-hmm. They had two hundred Irish whiskeys. I didn't even know there was such a thing as two hundred <sighs> Irish. Whiskeys. And I asked the bartender, I said, I don't even know how to, I don't know what to do with this menu. Mm-hmm. Like, what, 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 what should I try? And he said, well, if you want something, it's pretty obvious that I'm not from Ireland, right? Okay. So you can tell. I was, <laughs> if you want something uh-huh. that's traditional, okay. there's two labels you got to try. Red breast and the spot labels. Right? Okay. So green spot, yellow spot, red spot. Red breast and the spot labels are single pot still Irish whiskey. Mm-hmm. And what that means is they're, they, they are... They are produced in a copper pot still of both malted, so mm-hmm. like a single malt, and unmalted barley. Mm-hmm. Uh, and so which um, unmalted grain, it doesn't always have to be barley, right? So what you get there is this thickness from the unmalted grain. Mm-hmm. And the mouthfeel is going to be thicker, almost creamier, a little bit more vanilla-y. Uh, but you get this really, really robust flavor from the pot still because of how it's distilled. Mm-hmm. So we got to give this one a go because this one, wow. this one's my personal favorite. Okay. All right, here we go. All right. And this one, yeah, this is, we're going up in the price point a little bit, yeah, too. Yeah, this so. one's about $67 to okay. $70. Uh, okay. Sorry about that, Sean. No, that's good. Uh, it but, feels but, good but, but I, trickling yeah, down on my finger. But don't don't think, start uh, licking your fingers. <laughs> I will, I'll save that for yeah. after, after I think the you podcast. Will, you, will, you will notice the difference in this one, and you'll appreciate the price point. I think to get a scotch that's this complex, you're in the $80, $90 price point range. Amazing. Now, the nose on this, I'm smelling like sweet flavors. On the nose. A little bit, yeah. And and what they would say is uh, fruit and apricot. Fruit and apricot, Right, yeah. that kind of thing. Yeah. Uh, but the taste is going to be a little bit different than what you're smelling. It's very interesting. Now, that could be also the cigar that you're puffing. That right? might be yeah. it. That could what be do it. You, what are you smelling, Jim? Well, um, yeah, I, I do I do get that little bit of fruit. That that little f- bit I don't know, I don't know what fruit. fruit. Don't right? say no dragon fruit. Don't Because I'm like, I don't. Yeah, all the stuff that we find out. Yeah. yeah. Well, let's give it a go. Let's see what you yeah, got. Yeah, but this is. Oh. Let me tell you, dude. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> this is some shit right yeah, here. It's, it's this is evil because yeah. you know why this is evil. I know what you're about to say. Go ahead. I could sit there and drink this the whole see, damn. That's bottle what I'm saying. Problem. Because dude. it disappeared. It, it disappeared. Oh. It yeah, disappeared. So after, uh, honestly, it's almost exactly opposite yeah. of the Glendalough, right? Where you, the Glendalough, like there's almost nothing, then you feel it in the feel back of your go- throat. The red breast, you get that creamy going all the way, like that that really heavy flavor going all the way through to and, me. And you poured ah. me a very hefty amount. Well, this is so you, good, man. It is good. I tasted this a few years ago, but I didn't know what I was doing yeah. then. Yeah. Now I mean, this I, my, disappears. This is incredible. Yeah, when friends ask me, I, dollar for dollar, this bottle... Uh, and there's a there's a uh, a bottle mm. called Green Spot are the the best value in whiskey that you can buy dollar for dollar. I I'm, I, I think I'm a convert yeah. now. I'm a convert as they yeah. say, right? Because all of these are good, but this is next level. That's it's ridiculous. Different. It's different. Yeah. 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 So you're looking again, forty seven ish, fifty seven ish, sixty seven ish kind of price point. So it's still all pretty accessible mm-hmm. for for a weekend. Uh, wow. I need to talk drink. to my li- local uh, liquor store owner because. I saw a bottle of red breast. I think he wanted like eighty bucks for it. He's got it. He's got. He's 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 yeah. jacking up the prices. I have to bring it to you from in town. I'm about to say, man. <laughs> I'm out here in the suburbs, man. In, in the you city, think, they hooking the people city, up, they man. It up. You, you would think in the suburbs you get at a better price point <laughs> than, than oh in the city, gosh. but you know that's yeah, amazing. You know why they say? You know what? 
these motherfuckers out here in the suburbs, man. They got money. They got money. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and, and guess what? That shit is a lie. <laughs> it is yeah. a lie. Yeah. So this is good stuff, man. It is good. I'm glad you guys like it. Oh, my goodness, oh, man. man. So, so, folks, we just tried out Glendola, Bushmill, Single Malt, 10-year, and Red Best Pot Still, 12-year, with my man Christian Nahas. It's some good stuff. Sam, what you think, man? I'm, I'm just, I'm in awe right now. Yeah. And A W E. I hope that's how you spell it. <laughs> but this this is amazing. Yeah, I mean, just this lineup right here. All three of these will be on my shelf. Oh, yeah. All three of them. I yeah. agree. All I agree. So, hey, you know what we're about to do? We're about to get it in. So, yeah. you know, tell us what you think. Check out the podcast. Leave us some comments. Yeah. Hit that subscribe button. Hit the like button. Hit the notification bell. Tell everybody yeah. how Let cool you thought Christian. Missing. Yeah. yeah what other yeah. Irish? Oh, yeah. oh my God. Thank about. you. Yeah. Because yeah. you just said, you told us earlier that this is just a yeah, sample. It's a couple it's hundred. It. We've yeah. only sampled three. <laughs> that so means you got to come back on the podcast. We got to have to do it again. All right. So look out for more episodes of my man Christian Aha, Stickman Simp. I'm Stickman number one. Cheers, y'all. Hey, Puff Sip Chat Repeat. We're out. <laughs>